Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and in this video I'll be showing you how to root your Samsung Galaxy S5. This method is applicable to a lot of Galaxy S5 variants and the list keeps getting updated, the number of devices supported keeps increasing. So what I'd suggest you to do is click on link 1 from the download section in the description. That would take you to this page and uh, this is the third post, uh, post on the page so make sure you check to see if your uh, model number is supported here. All right, how do you know what your model number is? Well, back to the phone. On the S5, just go into settings and uh, go to system, about device, and you find your model number. Mine is SMG900H. This is the international Exynos variant. So the major variants are already supported. Just check what your model number is. As long as it's supported, you can continue uh, with this tutorial. So guys, this will not affect any of the apps or data that you have installed. It will, you would not lose any apps or data, uh, but this will void your warranty. Uh, it will trip the Knox counter. As of today, there is no way to get your warranty back. If there is any change to the statement, I will make sure that I create a tutorial and I will leave a link to that right below the like button in the description. I will also annotate it onto this video, so make sure you have annotations on or you check the description. Uh, and uh, and also as of today, uh, there is no other method to root the phone without uh, tripping the uh, Knox counter. And if that changes and a new tutorial pops up which lets you root your phone without tripping the Knox counter, I'll make a video tutorial for that. Again, I'll leave a link to that right below the like button in the description. And I will also annotate it onto this video. So now what you need to do is from link 1 in the download section in the description, you just download the relevant CF auto root file and from link 2, that will take you to keys, uh, download and install Samsung keys. So uh, that will be keys 3, just download, install it, make sure it's not running in the background, make sure you quit it. And uh, let's get to the CF root file. So this is the file you downloaded from link 1. Right click on it, extract it. So you will have Odin included with the file and if by chance you don't have Odin there, you can download Odin from link 3 in the download section in the description. You wouldn't have to do it because Chainfair always includes uh, Odin with the CF root rele releases. In case you don't have it, you can get it from link 3. Anyway, enough uh, jumping back to the phone. Just go ahead, turn your phone off. And once the backlight key, I mean the mm -hmm. capacitive keys are off, go ahead, hold down volume, power and home at the same time. And now we can hit volume up to continue. So once you're in the downloading mode, connect your phone to the PC with a micro USB cable. So let me pop that board open. So connecting the phone here. Alright, so once you've connected the phone to the PC, right click on Odin. Select run as administrator. And now as long as you have the drivers installed properly, properly, this would turn blue. So the drivers get installed when you install Samsung keys. Uh, if this doesn't turn blue, make sure you check to see if keys is running in the background. If it is, go ahead, exit it, close out and relaunch it. If not, uninstall keys, reboot your PC, reinstall keys and uh, your Galaxy S5 will get detected. So right now click on PDA and uh, make sure you select the CF for the root file, the .tar.md5 file that we just extracted and click start. You don't have to make any changes to anything else. And now your Galaxy S5 will reboot. You see this red Android screen that is to be expected so don't worry about it uh, CF auto root would do will do its thing and the phone will reboot back up so there you go my Galaxy S5 is up so uh, as you can see all my apps and data have been retained so going into apps we now find super SU Okay, hit OK. 
box has been disabled no thanks enough going back so guys you can actually uh, uh, disconnect the phone from the pc right now and i've downloaded the uh, okay let me just pop that back um, okay so i've downloaded the root checker app from the play store so just to show you guys that we have root access here agree okay verify root grant and there you go we have root access so that's pretty much it guys it's a very simple tutorial i uh, hope you found this video useful if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and for more videos like these make sure you stay subscribed and as and when a new method uh, comes to root this phone without tripping the nox counter or if there is a way to reset the nox counter i will be coming out of videos so make sure you check that description down below as well so i guess that's pretty much it thanks a lot for watching and i'll catch you guys soon in the next one till then this is Ashia from c4e tech signing off you guys have a great day bye bye now